just how good is a two euro sorry a two dollar 42 watch um i got this a while back on um i think it was ebay or could have been deal extreme i can't quite remember and i've had it lying around for a bit and i only bought it because i seen it listed somewhere and i thought you know 242 i'll give it a go see how bad it is or how good it is you better be pleasantly surprised so anyway here it is the brand name looks like Vigier, v-e-i-g-e-e-r um, which as far as I can tell is not a legitimate brand and I wouldn't be buying fake watches from legitimate brands because I'm sure uh, YouTube wouldn't like that. Um, <clears throat> the watch, is, the strap is made of silicone. Um, fairly durable. There's absolutely no markings whatsoever on the back. In terms of timekeeping, it's actually not bad. I've had it uh, running for about a week and it's only lost about 30 seconds which is actually quite good compared to my, uh, my Tissot watch which is um which is my normal everyday watch um which is not super expensive but it's not a decent watch from the same company that makes watches and omegas and uh longines or long jeans so uh yeah it, it does fit the watch itself does feel a bit cheap this is you can sort of i don't know if you can make out but you can see this side here isn't isn't great quality it's kind of been it almost looks like it's been put for a very rough angle grinder um <clears throat> usual stuff to change the time you do that uh to pull out the crown it's battery operated <laughs> but the thing i'd really do love about it is uh these uh chronograph dials are fake and the buttons on the side are also fake they don't do anything uh so there you go uh a 242 watch um two dollars 42 which would be what two euros um free postage and packing so I don't know what you do with it to be honest with you. It does have a vaguely Hublot slash um, Tag Heuer look about it. But it obviously isn't. Um, to be honest with you, it's just a cheap watch and it does the job. So there you go. Bye-bye. Uh,